On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a super easy summer centerpiece using lemons. Keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Ramon. Welcome back to Ramon at Home. I am so excited you're here today because we're going to create a gorgeous summer centerpiece DIY using beautiful lemons and I'm gonna show you how to set a beautiful table to go with it. So if you've been following this channel then you know that I am crazy over centerpieces. I've done so many throughout the life of this channel and on today's video I'm gonna show you step by step how to create a gorgeous centerpiece using these beautiful lemons. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like the video and share with a friend. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for future decorating and DIY ideas. We're just getting started with summer and there is so much more to come. All right, to show you how to create this centerpiece, let's head to the studio. All right, everyone. So for this centerpiece, we're going to need three of these white containers. Now for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna do two. I have already pre-made the third one on this particular one. So it's gonna be sitting on the table like this, the tall one in the middle, and then the two round small ones on each side. So we, I've already pre-foamed them and put some moss around them. If you guys have not seen this process, I'm gonna link up the lemon centerpiece that I did before, and I'm gonna put that on the iCard right now so you guys can check out the whole process of greening and foaming. Then what I'm going to need is I'm gonna use some of this little monstera leaf. I'm gonna use some boxwood, and also I'm going to need some of this eucalyptus. Now for my floors, I'm gonna use this yellow Ostromeria as well as some of these clippings of this cute dainty yellow flowers. It's gonna be a little accent and of course we're going to need our lemons. Oh, and by the way, we're also going to need some sticks. They can be skewers, but I do have these leftovers from other videos. But if you don't have leftover from another video, then you can use just like your regular wooden skewers. All right, so let's get started. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to green our containers. We have already foamed them, we have already mossed them, and so now we're going to green them. So I want to create a cute little base for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with three of these Monsteras. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them all at once. So once you have these Monsteras, you wanna give them a little bend like this, and then you wanna go ahead and poke and insert and bend down and do a triangle. You guys know that I'm always talking about the triangles. So I'm gonna do the same with this guy right here. So I'm gonna need six, so I'm gonna need three more. By the way, how are you guys doing? How are you taking this quarantine? Are you guys ready to go out shopping? Let me tell you, that is the one thing that I am so anxious for, for the stores to open. I've been so patient, but I am so ready to go out shopping and show you guys some more ideas. But safety first, so as long as our governor tells us that we need to stay in, we're gonna stay in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and with a second one here and I like to work when I'm doing dual centerpieces I like to work with them at the same time so they kind of reflect what's going on and you can just go ahead and give these guys a bend going down then I'm gonna spin this around and I'm gonna spin this around I used to work as a florist for every 10 years and if you guys didn't know that I'm gonna throw a playlist of all of our past florals there's a lot of tips that you can learn from them but well, my favorite thing to do when I worked as a florist was to work as a mask, like Mother's Day or Valentine's. You do the same arrangement 20 or 30 at a time. And it was so much fun because you got to do what I'm doing right now, which is to mass produce. So this is gonna look really good on our table. All right, so once we have our base, which is our Monstera, and it looks like the triangle I always talk about, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some of these boxwood first so i'm going to start with one up here on the crown you guys know the very top right here is called the crown i'm going to do the same right here with this guy and then i'm going to go ahead and go to my right and remember what happens on the right needs to come over to the left that is the golden rule if you are looking to have a balanced bouquet what goes up must come down and what happens on your right happens on your left all right, like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some of this beautiful eucalyptus. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to my left. I'm gonna repeat right here to my left. And then I'm gonna repeat whatever I just did to the right, like that. 
and I'm gonna repeat the same over here to the right like that now because this is a little bit bigger and taller I'm gonna go ahead and add two extra ones of this eucalyptus because it has a bigger surface to cover so I'm gonna add two more like this and then I'm gonna add one of this right here to cover some of the perimeter okay so I'm done with this greenery I'm gonna put it right here in the back to kind of give us some space I'm also done with the uh, monstera leaves I'm gonna put in the back so now I'm gonna bring my lemons now these lemons are so easy to work with you basically just put your pick on it and for the little one I'm gonna use three lemons so I'm gonna go ahead and just basically pick them like this and I want to do a triangle so I'm gonna do right here and then I'm gonna come to this side as you guys can see I need to flip so you can see I inserted two and then I'm gonna go ahead and insert yet another one now this came with a little bow so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out go ahead and insert right here now I'm gonna let this one hang out a little bit further out as you guys can see because that creates a lot of dimension in your bouquets now this guy right here it's bigger and it's gonna be my statement piece on the middle because remember this is gonna be sitting on one side and I'm gonna have another one on the other side so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do six of them on this side so basically just put a pick on it and put it right here so I'm gonna do one I'm gonna pick this if you guys are enjoying this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up right now to let me know you are enjoying it i love working with lemons it's one of my favorite things to do for spring and summer and this is our second lemon centerpiece this year so i'm gonna go ahead and pick this guy right here i'm gonna go ahead and bring it and always make sure that you have some up and down kind of give him some more character okay so i'm gonna go ahead and pick this guy right here as you guys can see it's super easy and i'm gonna do one more over on this side and I want a taller one up here so I'm gonna get one of the skewers my taller skewers and I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy like really tall up here like that all right so I'm done with this I'm gonna remove it it's always really good to have a clean area to work with because it allows you to see your bouquets all right so now I'm gonna add some of this Ulstrom area and I love yellow so much. So I'm gonna start right here and I want the flower to go in between the bouquet, the, the lemons and the greenery. So that's gonna be like a step down, all right? So I'm gonna do two right here on the very crown. And then I'm gonna move to this guy right here and I'm gonna do two on the crown like that. And then I move to this guy right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do one right here in the middle. I'm gonna do one right here in the middle. So basically you're just repeating what you're doing in one bouquet from one bouquet to the next. And now keep in mind that this one's right here is smaller than this one. So this guy needs a lot more to cover the perimeter of the bouquet. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go and cover this one right here and then put my leftovers on the other one because it is smaller. So I have two more. I'm gonna go ahead and add this guy right here and right here then I have these clippings of this really long and wispy and this is going to, what's gonna give it a little bit more height and character so you have to assess what you have this guy right here is taller so I'm gonna go ahead and add this right here one on the top but then I have to repeat on the other one right here so I'm gonna go ahead and add a taller one even though it's not gonna be as tall as that one and then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and extend it even further because the table is rectangular. So always keep in mind with the shape of the table. If you were to have a round table, then I would recommend to do more of a round because it goes with the shape of your table. So this guy like that. And this one I'm going to cut in two. And I'm going to go ahead and add one right here. And then I'm going to add the last one over here and just like that you circle it around to make sure that you see everything and just like that 
you have a gorgeous gorgeous bouquet of lemons all right you guys so this is what our bouquets look like and this is going to be like i said a centerpiece so i'm going to take you back inside and i'm going to set the table for you and show you the end result i really think you're going to like it keep watching all right before i show you how to set the table so we can use our beautiful centerpiece we just put together i want to invite you to give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend let them know what we're doing here at Mona home for this summer all right let's get back to the video all right everyone so after we put the runner down i want to go ahead and use this really pretty wicker charger then after that i'm gonna go ahead and place my plate and i also love these white dishes if you've been following the channel you know that i always recommend a set of white dishes because they just go with everything and for this particular um, tablescape i'm gonna use one of the monstera leaves that i used for the arrangements and then on top of that i'm gonna add this napkin and i love the juxtaposition of the napkin the yellow on the napkin the yellow on the runner are different patterns but it just works then on top of that i'm gonna add my bowl and as you guys can see it is very simple then i'll add my knife on my right hand side as well as my fork and you know my tip i give you knife and spoon have five letters like the word right so it goes on the right and fork has four letters like the word left and it goes on the left and just like that you have a beautiful play setting for your guest thumbs up if you enjoyed it Okay, so I really like the way this looks so far, but I, I'm gonna add these taper candles into the centerpiece to bring a little bit of sparkle and light and to add a little bit more of height. And this is the end result. All right, you guys, well, that's all I have for today. I cannot wait to read your comments. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what do you think about this particular theme. I think it is really popular right now and it's everywhere. So go collect yourself some lemons and create your very own summer centerpiece. And if you are interested in creating this massive Forsythia bouquet, leave me the hashtag Forsythia bouquet down below so I can make a video and show you exactly how it's made. You won't believe how easy it really is. All right, you guys, well, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not seen the last Lemon Centerpiece, I'm gonna link it up or you can watch more videos right now. Thank you, please consider subscribing today and until next time, bye.